guys get this going and see how this can kind of play out? Yeah, we've been really anxious. I mean, we've been really excited since June, since we got up here. Uh, we got a really hungry group, and we're all really, we're just excited to get going. And so it was fun to get to get out there and get to play against someone different. With this game, some of you expected some highs, some lows, um, especially working in these matches when you're, you're down there. For sure. Um, you definitely hope it comes out and, or that we come out and play a whole lot better than we did in the first half, but that's not always realistic, especially early on in the season. So, uh, like Coach Melvin said in the locker room, this was really good for us, uh, being able to find a way to come out on top, even though it was a tough game. Like, Louisiana Tech is a really good program with a lot of high-level players. So, I feel like tonight, the way we were able to find a way to get the job done, I think was important for us. Was it in that, that big run defense that started it to the light for you guys that you kind of finally started locking down on that side? I think, 100, I think it always starts there. Like, the less times you can take the ball out the net is to our advantage. So we were able to get on transition. I want to say we started getting more layups uh, than earlier in the game. Then that kind of starts to open up the just aggressiveness to get paint touches and kickouts for threes. And after that, now we're just flowing, doing what we do best, which is sharing the ball, playing with each other, and finding ways to score. Did you guys do anything specifically defensively to change, or was it more uh, like attention detail? I think it was more just attention to detail. We really had to lock in, kind of regroup and lock in, especially after that first half that we had. And they went on their little run at the beginning of the second half, but uh, we locked into what we needed to do and what Coach Medved was preaching. So, four weeks since you joined the new program, the way you did this, was there a little pressure you can put on yourself to try to have a good debut, or you just kind of let that flow? Um, I tried to let it flow as much as I could. I mean, there's always a little, little pressure just coming into a new program, but. Uh, these guys made it really easy to not like relieve that pressure and not like I didn't really feel it as much as many people might uh, assume. Mm -hmm. So these guys, my teammates, they really like helped me with that. So. What did you like best from working with the new players, and what did you see tonight that maybe you hadn't seen in the past? Uh, I think just the resilience. Like in practice, you're competing against each other. You're not maybe always paying attention to who the losing team might be or how they respond to bad plays. Even if it's my team, I'm not worried about how they just uh, beat us or whatever. I'm trying to figure out what we were uh, not executing at uh, the level that we needed to. So now that we're all pulling in one direction, finding a way to, like I said, get the job done, even though we were down 10 or 8 there in the second half, maybe even more than that. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man, I'm just proud of our response more so. As you think about this run, like you said, you went from 11-point deficit to 11-point lead. That's a pretty decent response. Yeah. Right? With our group, like you said, there's so many new guys, it can be hard to trust. Like, especially in game one, we find ourselves in an adverse situation right out the gate. Like, we don't know how guys are going to respond and maybe how they reacted to things at their other programs or maybe in high school for some guys. So the fact that we were able to all stay connected and we were preaching that at halftime, just stay together. It's a long game. Uh, these games early in the year, guys are hyped up, ready to go. So it's not always going to be a home run hit in the first 20 minutes. So you got to be ready to continue to battle. And I feel like we did that. With all of these pieces and kind of on-court chemistry and then you have practice, how much does the on-court chemistry kind of gel since the first half of the season? I think it's just, it's for real now. Everybody gets their jitters out. Uh, we get a feel for who, who got it going. Uh, like you said, we get to compete against uh, some, some other opponents instead of just beating up on ourselves every day. And then ultimately, we just take that and build on it. What's the goal? Is it like, you know, unique, obviously, you guys mm -hmm. dunk on each other? What, what is it like being out there together, you know, in that type of program? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I mean, me and Nick always played against each other. So being able to play on the same team for once was kind of, it's kind of special. It's a cool opportunity, especially at this level. So, I mean, it was pretty awesome to be out there and be able to hoop with him and see what he can do. Um, it is a little different. I mean, it, it, there's definitely a big difference, or not a big difference, but a difference between the D2 level and D1 level. But yeah, I, def I have picked Pat's brain a little bit. He's helped me kind of get through it and just tell me, he's like, it's the same. It's, at the end of the day, you're just playing basketball. And so it's been nice to have someone that, uh, that's done it before that can kind of help you through it and talk you through what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. But at the end of the day, I can't do it without my teammates, can't do it without my coaches. So they put me in a good position tonight, and it just worked out well for me. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you.